In our nation's capital, the talk of the town is President Trump's impeachment, but closer to home in South Florida. His focus today was on his 2020 reelection campaign. NBC6's Jamie Garola is at Trump National Doral, where he delivered remarks at the Republican National Committee's winter meeting. Jamie? Jackie, tonight, Trump 2020 victory confirmed to me an RNC strategy to flood battleground states like Florida with money and staffers putting more people on the ground. Now the president is back at the White House after leaving Doral around 730. After speaking for more than an hour, President Trump left his Doral Resort and headed back to Washington. I think he went in the back door and we didn't see him. Guests at Trump National Hotel say they just wanted to play golf and did not know the president would be there today. Didn't see the president, uh, just a lot of Republican people there and uh, it's just super busy and now we're inconvenienced because of our, it's raining out and we're trying to get to get to a restaurant. The president flew to South Florida Thursday, revving up loyal supporters at the start of the Republican National Committee's winter conference. Joe Gretters is the chair of the Republican Party of Florida. Obviously a lot of energy, a lot of excitement going on. Inside, state party chairs and committee people, one of each for every state and territory. The purpose of the president's visit to energize leaders on the front lines and build momentum for his campaign. Here in Florida, where it's the, the most critical state in the nation to win for the president. Florida is not the only battleground state. The RNC today approved plans to dispatch another 300 field staffers to target 18 states for the November ballot. That totals 600 people on the ground and tens of millions of dollars. And the evidence conclusively established. While Trump's political machine grinds, the cloud of his impeachment trial in the Senate still looms. But Republicans say they are focused on what the president has accomplished. I think overall we've had so much success across the country, especially here in Florida. Record low employment. You know, people are very happy. I think it's this is what the Democrats have done is it's certainly going to backfire. I think that... Uh, uh, overall, this motivates our base like we've never seen before. All right, in last year, the RNC raised $463 million. The RNC Winter Conference continues tomorrow. Reporting live in Doral, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News.